Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to learn all about addition with regrouping for two-digit numbers. Did you know that you can add two-digit numbers using a place value chart? You can. Place value charts are a great strategy for adding two-digit addition equations. So how do we solve problems with the place value chart? The first thing we need to do is write the equation into the place value chart. Here's our equation, 17 plus 28. So let's think about the tens and the ones in these two add-ins. 17 has how many tens? One, that's right. And how many ones does 17 have? Yes, you've got it, one 10 and seven ones. And let's look at the second add-in, that's 28. How many tens are in the number 28? Yes, two tens and how many ones? Eight ones, okay, I did it. The first step, write the equation in the place value chart. Make sure you put the tens in the tens column and the ones in the ones column. Next, we add the ones. Okay, seven ones plus eight ones. Hmm, I think I'm going to use the strategy of counting up to add that. So I'll start with seven and I'll add eight. Let's do that together. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15, but I can't just write the number 15 into the place value chart there. That's incorrect because I just wrote the number 15 in the ones column. That doesn't work. 15 is really the same as one 10 and five ones. So when I complete the place value chart, I need to place the five ones in the ones column. Let's do that now. And I place the one 10 into the tens column like that. Okay, what do I do next? Well, next I add the tens. One plus one is two plus two more is Four, there we go. So I know that 17 plus 28 equals 45. That was a lot of work. Let's try another one. Here's our next equation, 27 plus 46. Do you remember the first step? You got it. The first step is to write the equation into the place value chart. So we'll start with the first add-in, 27. It has, you got it, two tens and seven ones. And the number 46 has four tens and six ones. Did you get that number in your place value chart? I hope so. There we go. Okay, what's the next step? Yes. Next, we add the ones, seven ones plus six ones. Let's count up to get that one. Seven plus six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, but I know I can't write the number 13 in the ones column because that's incorrect. I can't say 13 ones. But I do know that 13 ones is the same as one 10 and three ones. So I need to put the three ones into the ones column. And I need to put the one 10 into the tens column. Okay. Now, do you know what the last step to solving this problem is? You got it. Last we add the tens. So I have one plus two, that's three, plus four, three plus four, that's easy, it's seven. 
So I know that 27 plus 46 equals 73. Awesome. Did you get that too? I hope so. Okay, now we are ready to do a little bit more practice. We have four more equations to solve. Get ready to write them down on your paper with me. Okay, are we ready? Let's look at our first problem. Our first problem is 52 plus 28. Do you remember what to do first? Yeah, the first step is so easy. We write the equations into the place value chart and 52 has five tens and two ones and 28 has two tens and eight ones. Okay, now, do you remember the second step? Yes, that's right. Add the ones. What do we do next? We add the ones. Okay, eight plus two. That's an easy one. That's 10. Okay, and 10 is the same as one ten and zero ones. So I have to put the zero ones into the ones place and I need to add the one ten to the tens column. Okay, what's my next step? You got it, add the tens. So I have five plus one, oh easy, right? Six plus two more, seven, eight, that's eight. So I have eight tens and zero ones. So I know that 52 plus 28 equals 80. That is cool. Okay, here's the next one. Do you remember the first step? Yes. So the first step is place the add-ins into the place value chart. 18 has one 10 and eight ones, and 36 has three tens and six ones. Okay, what's my next step? Yes, add the ones, that's what I do next, add the ones, so eight, plus six, let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eight plus six is 14. And I know that 14 is the same as one 10 and four ones. Do you see how when I was thinking about the number 14, I just added it to the place value chart where it belonged? Yeah, that's a really easy way to do it. So what's my last step? Yes, I need to add the 10. So one plus one is two, plus three is, yes, you got it, five. So I know that 18, plus 36 equals 54. Cool. Okay, let's solve the next one. Are you ready? Okay, the next problem is 56 plus 39. What's my first step? Yes, place the number into the place value chart. 56 has five tens and six ones. 39 has three tens and nine ones. Great. Okay, what's my next step? Yes, add the ones. Six plus nine. Do you know that one? Yeah, that's an easy one. It's 15. And we know that 15 is the same as one ten and five ones. So I need to place the five ones into the ones column and I need to take the one ten and add it to the tens column. There we go. Now I can add the 
tens. That's my last step. One plus five is six, plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. There we go. So 53, 56 plus 39 equals 95. Wow. Okay. Here's my last problem to solve today. This is hard work. What's my first step? Yes, place the two add ins into the place value chart. But uh oh, this is tricky. I have the number nine. Where do I put the number nine in the place value chart? Can I put it in the tens column? No, I can't. If I put nine into the tens column, my whole problem will be incorrect because this is nine ones. I don't have any tens. So let's put the nine over here plus 28. How many tens are in the number 28? Yeah, two tens and eight ones. There we go. Okay, so now what do we do? Yes, we add the ones. So nine plus eight is, that's right, 17. And 17 is the same as, one ten and seven ones. So I put my seven ones there and my one ten into the tens column. Oh, this one's going to be easy to add. Now I add the tens. One plus two is three. You got it. So I know that nine plus 28 equals 37. So cool. Wow. Thanks for learning about adding two-digit numbers with me today. I hope to see you again very soon.